Okay. There you are. Did you spend the night here? I can't imagine the books are very comfortable. Cohen, good good morning. <sighs> I hope you slept well. We have a big day ahead of us. Don't we always? Are you alright? You look weary. Well, I did just wake up. Did you have another one of those nightmares? That's not important. The sudden weather changes have rendered my nights restless. That's all. Candace, you've been having those dreams since you were a child, and they've always bothered you. Of course it's important. Would you like a temporary dreamless spell? Nonsense. And no. Thank you. I'm grown now and a queen. I'm not going to let a petting nightmare bother me. Very well. Did you find anything in those books? No. This library is mostly filled with books from Haka and Lusana's reign, so mostly they're inaccurate depictions of history and ignorant of the complexities of magic. I'll begin having the fairies take them out and replace them with the books from Old Sinifen when I have the time. I've been meaning to for a while now, not that there are even many of those left. After moving home so many times, our ability to trace our histories is getting scarcer and scarcer. Do you have anything to report yourself, Cohen? Nothing worthy of note, aside from a few subjects demanding their useless empty wands back. Oh, dragons. Where are they now? The subjects. Aletta's temporary replacement as captain of the guard, Velena, has escorted them gently out. I wish there was something I could do about that. I wouldn't focus my energy on Candace. They are few. Still, as queen, it's my duty to care for each and every one of my people. If I can settle this wand magic business, I would very much like to. Any word from Madonna? Nothing this morning. They did just leave yesterday at early dawn, though. It may be a while. I know you're worried. I believe she'll sort everything out. Madonna has a way of getting her point across. That is certainly a statement that rings true. I must say, Candace, I have noticed a sudden change in your assurance in this kingdom business. It is rather drastic, as opposed to your innate distrust of them back in the previous Cinephon. Nonsense, Cohen. You're just being pessimistic. Things have changed, and I, as queen, must be optimistic about my neighboring countries. I have to be. I sent my sister there. Of course. And you're allowed to have fears about- I am perfectly confident in my sister and my friends. If Adana gets too into hearing her own voice, I know DJ will be her tone of reason. Liveth is strong, so they will have plenty of protection. Aletta may seem like a bubblehead sometimes, but she's cunning when she needs to be, and has some knowledge of healing from Azza, despite not having magical abilities. I am, however, worried about you. Nebula has never been on a mission like this aside from the Battle of Draconis Luna. Nebula is a smart girl, and she's small. If anything, she's safest out of the others. There now. If you're not worried for your kin, why should I be? I never stated that I wasn't worried. I think it's time I headed out to check the dragons. You may remain here, in the castle, in case word arrives of anything. Did you fall asleep while eating a cupcake again? <laughs> Must be having Chef Cherry make those gluten-free ones, huh? <laughs> yeah, she's not too happy about that. Like she's ever happy about anything. Ours. If any of the other kingdoms see it, we're in the red for war! We can't.
can't stay here, Oletta. The guards are getting more aggressive the longer we remain. If we stay here, tell the Queen. Everyone's gonna think it's a trick and we'll be deeper in trouble. We have to move on and pray that nothing happens. And if something does happen? What if it was one of our dragons? I couldn't get the best look, but the colors seemed familiar. It almost looked like a medescent dragon, I think is what Candace called them. We don't have every single medescent dragon in the land at the Kingdom, Madonna. It could have just been one we haven't taken in yet. Even if it is, I'm afraid that the mere sight of any dragon will provoke the kingdoms to war. Like Aletta said, there's no way to prove to the other kingdoms that we didn't send it here. Well, well, I mean, even if it is one of ours, maybe one just follows us here? But the dragons aren't that stupid! They know when they're heading into potential dangerous territory. You two, we can't do anything right here, right now, without drawing suspicion. Now, Adana, is there something else that happened? Your dragon blood mark? The scent of sulfur? Anything? My mark, it burned a, a little bit. Okay. Anything else? No, 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 nothing. Okay, we have to go. Hey, what if something happened? The dragons are tracking us down for help, and that's why Adana's mark burned. Doesn't it only burn when there's trouble? I, I didn't even think of that. I mean, what with freak weather and earthquakes happening? Uh, I, they'll send word if anything went south. Candace will make sure of that. All ready to go? Uh, yep, yep. Thanks for seeing Isabel. Her coat was getting mighty dirty. Appreciate it so much, honey bunch. I feel as fresh as a newly bloomed flower. She was very polite conversation. Journey well, you all. I do hope the next time I see you, it won't be to fight on the opposite sides of war. Same up here. Uh, what's your name, by the way? Malo. It means Nightwind. Pretty neato, huh? I'm a sucker for the histories and meanings of names. It's a big thing in our kingdom. Our library is filled with stuff like that. Adana, your name means fire. DJ signifies a free-spirited individual. And Aletta means fairy maiden. Wow, that's pretty cool. Very enlightening. I think I'm gonna cry. I love my name even more now. What about me? It's Nebula, by the way. In case you never got it. Or, or even noticed I was here because I'm so small and... Your name means a mist. That's appropriate. And last but not least... Ah, there you are lurking in the back. It's Liveth. Oh! Oh, yours is a, a bit unfortunate. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Does it mean something gross? Like viscera? Sounds pretty, but boy, the meaning sure isn't. I mean, you did call Liveth Liver the first time you two met on your first day of training, L. It means... An individual who gladly participates in battles. <laughs> Someone's mama sure had plans. Uh, we better get going. It was nice meeting you, Melo. Hey, of course, yes, yeah, safe travels. That is, unless you're planning to eat us like so many of the villagers around here are thinking. If that's the case, hope your carriage gets stuck in a ditch! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Melo, that's enough, stable boy. Go tend to the horses like you're supposed to be doing. Uh, y yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Thalid. Goodbye, right away. <laughs> <sighs> Apologies for the stable boy. He talks faster than his brain works. I'm Thalin, by the way. I'll be escorting you out of the kingdom. Pleasure to meet you, and thank you. Well, this is where we part ways, dragon folk. I wish you luck on your supposed journey of peace. I do hope you're telling the truth, for all of our sakes. Queen Sapphire seems to think so, or at least she hopes. She has much to live up to, but with her mother, Queen Tiarella, being passed and all, they were very close before she died. Tiarella was very protective of her kingdom, although I'm certain you can understand that. Well, 
Thanks for your understanding and hospitality, Phelan. Tell Sapphire we said the same as well. Oh. And another thing. Make sure you're listening when you hear the other rulers. There are things that you likely don't know about. That they will be telling you. Things that have not been spoken of much in many years. Light treads for the lot of you. What the chip dragon scales was that all about? I I don't know. Well, the sooner we get to the other kingdoms, the sooner we'll find out what he's talking about. Now what? Now what what? Well, a lot of what what's, but what I was thinking of is... How certain are we that things are okay back home? Like I said, Candace will send word if we're it needed. It may be too late by then, DJ. Look, if it will ease everyone's minds, I can head back to the kingdom and see if everything's okay. If it is, I'll let you all know by bird. If it isn't, at least one of us will be there to get the word out. What? No, Liveth, we need to all stay together. Candace specifically wanted you to be part of this mission. Adana can't go. She's the princess in a dragon blood. And you can't go. You're head knight. Aletta can't go. She's captain of the guard and the one most experienced with healing potions. And Nebula's the only fairy. You don't need me here. Liveth, of course we need you here. Don't say that, Liveth. You're the strongest here besides DJ, and you're a terrific fighter. Please, Princess, you're making me blush. Someone needs to go back and check on the kingdom, and I am the only one that's qualified to do that. On foot, it's not going to take me too terribly long to get back home from here. Not as long as it would take you for, anyway. Like I said, I'll send word as soon as I get back. I promise. No. DJ. Please. <sighs> Fine. Nothing's gonna stop you anyway, I guess. Quitter. I'm not a quitter, DJ. I'm doing you all a favor. Liveth, we need you with us. Candace said- Candace's words aren't the words of the ancient dragon bloods, DJ. Not that we really even know what those words are. I know you're all mushy goo-goo eyes over her and everything, but that doesn't mean she knows everything. And you're right. She is a good leader. But again, that doesn't make her all-knowing. You'll all be better off without me moping along in the carriage anyway. Yes, I know how I am. Self-awareness is something that I do have. Don't any of you dare die on me. Especially you, Adana. If anyone can stop this... It's you. sword. Yeah, his head knight. I got the strongest one. But you'll be going alone, so you'll probably need it more than I will. Alright, if you insist. Be careful on your way back, please. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Don't know what you mean. I always am careful. You do realize that that includes not dying, right? Of course I do. And don't worry, Princess, you know I ain't dying unless it's for you. Later, you worry warriors. Why is she like that? How did you even get into the bag? And she was so quiet last night. How did you get into sleep? You must have sneaked in when we were leaving. Oh, and uh, I used this. Lavender from the lavender tree? 
Yeah, I didn't jump into that pile of lavender for kicks and giggles. Okay, well, maybe that was a side bonus. It was also super relaxing, like a magical sizzle bath. But anyway, I'm not that fluff brain. I wanted to get a souvenir for my little brother. I promised him something from the hero big sister. Turns out this was perfect for also getting little Ganymede here to sleep. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. Ganymede? Yeah, that's his name now. Wow! Oh, petals. Wish I had thought of that. It's an uncommon name, don't feel bad. <sighs> They're coming back! Wait! We should get Livet to bring this little guy back home. Good idea! Excuse me, sorry! Uh, Carry it, Livet! Why? Where's Livet? Oh, she's long gone by now. Spread it off that way. No! What's wrong? Uh... Uh, I forgot to give her big goodbye hugs. <laughs> That's all. She's far off by now, Aletta. You know how quickly she covers ground. Come on, you two. We need to keep on schedule. Schedule? I didn't know. Oh, but should we tell them? Uh, no. Don and Gigi have enough to worry about. We can handle this. Just until we go home, which won't be for another two or so weeks. But, um, I've got the lavender. I can keep a little Ganymede to sleep when we go to meet the rulers. And we can feed him bits of our food. You think he'll eat those muffins and sandwiches? Kind of depends on what dragon he is, but it's worth a shot. We have no other choice. This is our sacred mission, Lady Nebula. You think you're up for it? I was born ready for it, Captain Aletta. Great, we can do this. It's in the bag. <laughs> yeah, we won't let it out. <laughs> That's a good one, I like that one. I think yours is better. Yeah, I think it was. Now, who's gonna fill the silence with winterous energy? Ooh! Ooh! I can try! Look, they'll be all right, and the kingdom's probably fine, and so is that dragon, if there is one. Which there, there could not be. Could it just been something totally different, like a very large bird, or maybe a troll that wandered out of its region? <sighs> is there something we can do that can, you know, take our minds off of everything? Well, I was reading those books Candace gave to me. They were pretty interesting. Definitely a step above the ones I was looking at in the library the other week. <laughs> I'll get him, no worries, reaching your arm all the way over here and getting sprained. Yeah, just let her get it. <laughs> <laughs> you okay then? Thank you, Aletta. What was that? Ah, it was me! <coughs> Still having some effects from that little magical burst. Oh, right! <laughs> See? <laughs> anyway, it is really interesting. I've learned about my ancestors, spells, the names of different dragon species, as much as I can, anyway. The access to knowledge is pretty limited. And I was just right, there's so much I still have to learn. One of our great-grandmothers, Quinby Dragonblood, she was the one that made the dragon summoner with that wizard I met at the Cavern of Many Voices last year. Also, around their time, a lot of spells went extinct. Extinct? Yeah, they completely vanished and were forgotten. Nobody really knows why. I've heard of that. Jeepers, dragon peepers. Yeah, you said it. There seem to be a lot of gaps in our histories. Candace said that some historical dragon blood books went missing or burned up a while ago. I can't seem to find anything that talks much about the foundation of the Earth other than a few mentions here and there. We do know that dragons help breathe life into the world by beating their wings to create the winds for us to breathe, and that our first ancestor vowed to protect them and made the blood pact, but. It doesn't say anything about their name, or details, or what else occurred around that time. I guess the entries for those specific details are long gone. My dad said that a lot of stuff happened since the beginning of time. Candace is right. Records have been destroyed, artifacts have gone missing. The Dragonbloods have moved around several times before because of threats and global occurrences. I wish I knew it all. The more I read into this, the more I realize how ignorant we all were. Well, you know, we didn't know Adana, but 
Now we do, and we can make the steps to get the rest of the lands to see what we have. Ugh. You okay, Donna? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just tired. It is a lot. And living cleaning has not helped. And I also didn't get any sleep last night, as you probably had guessed. Anyway, I also found this song that Candace has been trying to teach me for the last several months. It's called Dragon Blood Song. She said her parents sang it to us when we were little, but I... I don't remember it. It goes something like this. Oh, dragon blood, dragon blood. Fire burns through your veins. Even in the biting fear, your courage remains. Moon that soaks skin, and eyes full of flame. We know you'll always be dragon blood by name. Ooh! Awesome lyrics! Any idea who wrote them? Griffith Dragonblood. He wrote this entry here. He said that he created the song after a battle with wyverns, trying to invade some dragon's nests in Cinefin during one particularly harsh winter. It said that he lost his brother during that time, and he dedicated the song to him. Hey! We shall sing it to pass the time! Yeah, sure. That sounds like a plan. Oh no. Oh, oh dragon, 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 It's all right, Ovia. We'll have that claw fixed up in no time. Renata, can you go see Abaddon while I'm here? Thank you. Carlene's eggs should be hatching any day now, too. I should probably check those and make certain that no critters are bothering them. Okay, and we're just ease up on the magic focus. Try gentler concentration. Like this. Thanks, Candace. Hey, why don't you act as healer? <laughs> as wonderful as that may be, I couldn't possibly run the kingdom and a healer's head at the same time. We'll find someone more qualified to be a permanent healer soon, Enver. Don't worry. I sure hope so. I thought it would have been perfect if she still had magic. Mixology isn't quite enough. Mira, Sable, what's the matter? There's something wrong with one of the mud dragons. Which one? It's Balbo. He's been creating a ruckus in one of the nests. I'll see Tim. Whoa, 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 it's okay, it's okay, look at me, hey, it's Candace, hi, it's fun, buddy. Eyes. Candace, what do we do? Stand back. <gasps> whoa, it's okay. Muriel, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks, Candace. What happened? Where are you going? Both of you stay with the dragons. I need to go see Cohen. <laughs> 